and good evening. My name is Greg, and uh, we're here at Heroes Beacon opening a pack or a, uh, a booster box of the Brothers War. So this is a collector booster box. So this contains uh, 15 cards per pack. So there's 12 packs in here, and each pack will have uh, up to five different mythics or rares, possibly more, including uh, retro border artifacts, um, sketch artifacts, or uh, shoot, what's the, the, the name for them? Schematic. Schematic artifacts, thanks Cobb. Uh, there is a Transformers card in each pack, um, and you know, the chance that your extended uh, art cards, uh, full arts, and uh, some other fun foils. So these are, are a lot of fun to open, um, so we'll be having some of these available starting this weekend for the release of the set in our pre-release events. And uh, yeah, let's get to, to cracking some packs and see what we get. So, let's try pack number one here. So Kyle, what are you looking forward to, to seeing out of this? I want to see as many artifacts as possible. I can't wait to see Worm Coil Engine in that schematic. Art. Yeah, I think the schematic worm coil engine is what I'm looking forward to the most as well. Of course, in the transforms part. So I'm clearly doing this backwards. So you get a foil token, some foil uncommons from this or commons from the set. So I'm just going to sort of gloss by the commons and uncommons. Uh, usually, there's not a whole lot. Uh, Unearth is back as a mechanic in this set. One of the things that uh, you'll see in these collector boosters is each one will have uh, a land which has a mech. So these are mech lands. They're really pretty. Ooh, so first rare is a blast zone. So this is a reprint in foil. Nice. Mishra's Foundry. Brand new land. Yeah, which throw is... back to an old one. So if anyone's uh, seen Mishra's workshops, kind of throw back to that. Beautiful full art. Glint Breaker. This is from the Commander sets. So this is in each pack you'll find uh, a card from either the Commander sets or a uh, Jumpstart card. Um, and this can include cards that are technically Commander but not in the Commander decks that are going to be coming out. So we have our first Old Border Artifact and this looks like a schematic artifact. This is a Foundry Inspector. Good reprint. Yep. We have Bone Saw, which is a great zero mana equipment. Good throwback to your Spider Man days. Yeah, and there's a Chromatic Lantern. Oh boy. In. Boy, it's a spicy pack already. That's really nice. Hey. An Ultra Magnus Tactician. And he's actually one of the, uh, the better Transformers cards. So, Transformers cards are kind of fun. They're the uh, Worlds Beyond cards, um, similar to the 40K cards. And these same, guys uh, have they've got the same uh, uh, holographic treatment as the 40,000 cards. Yep, same little square at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And these have uh, more than meets the eye, so you can play them for an alternative casting cost as the back of the card. And then if you meet certain conditions, you can flip them. What's the back look like? So, Ooh, Mars. Yeah, that's awesome. Yep. And our last card. Ooh, Sword of the Meek. Ooh, a lot of great reprints. Yeah, beautiful reprints. So that was actually a really good first pack. No complaints. Let's try to see how I'm going to sort these. I don't think I should worry too much about it. Let's just get to the pack number two. The worst part of these is trying to open them, not uh, destroy the contents. I'm sure I probably gave artifact soldier. Again. Veterans Power Blade, Pendragon Stronghold, Aeronaut's Wings, Holy Shell, Pelagius Activation, the Ocean Tactician, and there's another Titan Land. That's gorgeous. I actually really like those. Phyrexian Dragon Engines. This is a 2 2 double strike. Um, it's the other half of Mishra, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so. It's yeah. part of the Mishra Meld card. Mechanized Warfare. Shoot. 
So that's, uh, yeah, if there's a one, two red if a red artifact. For red or artifact source you control, deal combat damage to opponent, deal damage to an opponent, or permanent when opponent controls, deals that much damage plus one. So that's pretty nice. Uh, scavenged Brawler, Flying Vigilance Trample, Lifelink 4-4. That's, that's got keywords six on it. Mana. Yeah. Can pay five, exile from your graveyard, choose target creature, put four plus one plus one counters, a flying counter, a vigilance counter, a trample counter, and a lifelink counter on that creature. I like it. That's pretty good. That's from the uh, the commander slot. Oh. Ooh, liquid metal There's coating. A staple. Yeah. Hey -oh. That's nice. Another bone saw. Another okay. chromatic lantern. So it's a bit strange. Yeah. It's a duplication. It's a regular one. Star Scream Power Hungry. So, and then we've got Visions of Phyrexia. So two red red at the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. At the beginning of your end step, if you didn't play a card from exile this turn, create a tap power stone token. Bit of a value engine. Yeah. Is there a tear point on these? I should look before we started this. But... Zombie this time. So this is a neat mechanic they've got now is the uh, prototype. So for some of the artifacts, you can pay the full mana cost. Uh, you'll get the full power and toughness, but if you pay the reduced mana cost for the prototype, you get a uh, lower power and toughness. So it's a... Interesting, it retains the color of the prototype on the stack and in the play. Yep. Unless you blink it. If it comes back in, it becomes colorless. It's uh, kind of an inverted kicker almost. Yeah. I really like them though. I'll be curious to see how they play out in, in drafts and in, uh, in the sealed event. New knowledge. Draw a spell. Yep. So no... Draw a card for each island you control, then discard two cards. That seems pretty good if you're playing... Yeah. One of them, and there's one of the uh, what was he hiding? Mechlands, yeah. It's like a almost like a worm coil engine wrapped around the tree or a defiler of vigor. Gixian Puppeteer. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Yikes. That seems gross. Seems good with Shouldry. Yeah. When it dies, return another target creature card with value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So that's fantastic. Oh boy. Ooh. Yeah. That's. Versus Silex and the extended art. So two and two white. Tap and exile it. Each player chooses six lands they control. Destroy all their permanents. Activate only as a sorcery. I am gonna be sad the first yeah. time this resolves in Commander. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Scholar of New Horizons, this is the commander card. It's a scout. Yep. Sketch art burnished heart, that's stunning. And a commander staple, Jalum Tome, which actually looks very close to the original, with the border and everything. Kind of a shame that they just reprinted a, a card that's better than that. Ooh, there's a Helm of the Host. That art is fantastic. That's beautiful. Jetfire Ingenious Scientist. So our transformer for the pack. And then we have. Beautiful cornucopia. astral cornucopia. Get your core tappers out. Yep. So again, so far, three packs in, not a single one was a letdown. No, in my opinion. The plastic on those seems really thick. They like to do that with the collector boosters. Yeah. Keep them, keep them stiff. Oh, Monastery Swiss Beer's been reprinted. That is a fantastic Into card. Standard, back to Uncommon, and you know what? It reminds me of Soka, the artwork. Mm. Looks like Avatar. Yeah, it does, actually. Yeah. I'm going to call it Monastery Mister. There's our... Because it's the first land. male Swiss yeah. Beer. <laughs> Drafna, founder of Latnam. This is a... Legendary creature, possibly a decent uh, commander option. Mm -hmm. Does a lot of cool things. Oh boy, that's a nice reprint. Yep, so Diabolic Intent. This is a two mana tutor, which is now in standard. Um, so we just have to sacrifice a creature to go and look for pretty much anything. 
That's going to be... It's going to see a lot of play, I think. Hexavis is our commander card. It's a extended art treatment of that card. This is going to be in the commander decks. I know this one is for sure. Uh, our good old buddy Ornithopter. He's back. Yep. Elsewhere Flask, which I don't ever remember seeing. Don't remember which set this is from. Oh boy. Goblin Charbelcher. Another really good card. Ooh, a foil sound wave. But where's the Ravager? Yeah, I want the Ravage token. There is a Ravage token and there is a uh, laser beak token. So he's gorgeous. Oh man, and really clock. beautiful unwinding clock. That's a that's a good card. For all the good stuff we've seen so far, I feel like we should be farther into the box. Right? Elemental token. So if you want to see more of these cards, we do have a pre-release coming up this weekend. We have uh, pre-releases Friday and Saturday, and then we have a Jumpstart pre-release on Sunday. So join us for those to see some of these cards in action. Throat. Good reprint. That is a great reprint. Oh, Not sure a... if it's going to be exciting and standard this time. That's a but... really bizarre looking uh, foil. Yeah. So it's almost ghostly, the, uh, the mech. Felden, oh Felden, I am so disappointed in this version of you. I'm sure he's fine and great in any aggro deck, but with a Monastery Swift Spear in this set, it's, he kind of loses some of his luster. Soul Partition. Tissaray's Devastation. This is a neat board wipe. So for X2 and 2 black, you lose X life and create X tap power stone tokens. Uh, then all creatures get minus one, minus one until end of turn for each artifact you control. Like this could be brilliant in any black artifact decks. Reminds me of that Liliana card. Uh, it was a, a kill spell that you get minus minus for the amount of zombies you control. Chromatic Star. Ooh, that's a classic. This guy in a while. Yep. There's another Tron Elsewhere Flask. Oh, beautiful Maze Mind Home. That's gorgeous. Flame War. The artwork on those is stunning. Yeah, I think this is the. Um, Did they snag the artwork from the from the TCG? No, I think this is this is unique. But this is the uh, shattered glass version of the character, if I'm not mistaken. Because there's the regular artwork, which looks like the cartoon, and there's the shattered glass, which is an alternate universe version of the characters. Um, so this would be the Shattered Glass one. And Thanos the Toymaker. It's a really neat card. All right, this will put us at the halfway mark of this pack. Soldier, I keep looking at the tokens, hoping for like a Ravage or a Laser Beak. Haven't seen the, the new Source to Plowshares yet either. That card's really nice. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, so for one white, exile target creature with mana value less than or equal to the number of planes you control. Its controller gains three life. So if you're playing a lot of white, that's uh, interesting. Oh, that's a really beautiful mech land. Queen oh, Kaya. Oracle Master Wizard. Lots of good legendaries in this set. Now this is probably one of the more talked about cards in this set. It's from the Commander sets but not printed in the Commander decks. Uh, so this is Root Path Purifier. Three and a green. Lands you control are... Uh, and land cards in your library are basic. So this allows wow. you to basically Treat any land as a basic land card, so you can use your term or uh, your evolving wilds to go and pretty much look for anything because anything is going to be a basic. Crazy sigil of valor. There's a uh, another ornithopter. This time the I keep wanting to say sketch version, but 
Scrap trawler. He needed a reprint. Yep. RC sharpshooter. And a beautiful altered dimension foil. Boys, there's like a combo deck in this in these packs. I was gonna say, yeah, like Through the commons and uncommons. Beautiful island. We haven't got any duplicates of the land. It's been really neat. Not that I've seen anyway. Uh, Draconic Destiny. It's a mythic. This gives uh, the enchanted creature plus one, plus one, flying haste and fire breathing. And is a dragon. And is a dragon. Yeah, and when it dies, you return this back to your hand. That's going to do some work in uh, limited for sure. Uh, Prell Behemoth for five minutes. You can play lands for a graveyard. It's a nice, always a nice effect. I wish I hadn't seen that card. <laughs> I get spoiled. Um, geology Enthusiast. Very beautiful Mishra's bobble. bobble. Some with, good uh, modern bobble action. Yep. Can't rebuy it with Luris anymore. Leather though. Sigil. Ooh, Thorn of Amesis. Yep. That's a mean card. Gold Bug. Oh. And door to Nothingness. I've heard that card's been killing people. Is it legal in. Uh... Oh, yeah, it is. Oh. Yeah. Heard it saw a lot of a play at Vegas. I didn't think it was so legal in Commander. Coalition Victory, isn't it? Right, that's the one that's not. Again, a different one we still haven't seen yet. Brotherhood's End. The Stone Brain, this is an interesting card. So for two colorless, uh, for an artifact, Two and tap, exile the stone brain, choose a card name, search target opponent's graveyard, hand and library for up to four cards with that name and exile them. This is the Jester's Cat. Yep. That player shuffles, then draws a card for each card, exile from the hand this way, after you the sorcery. What's interesting is that uh, A, it's not colored, and B, is it can hit lands. Um, Karn the Great Creator can rebuy it from exile. Yep. So it's it's. I'll be curious to see if it sees play. Like we've seen this effect before. Unmoored ego saw next to no play, but this is two mana. It's an artifact, so it might see some work. K is music box. This is from the commander decks. Icar Wellspring is always a great card, especially Pop. if you have any kind of sack outlets. Popper All Star. Yep. Sigil of Valor. This time in the. Catch. Ooh. Mind's Eye. That hasn't been reprinted since Battle Bond. Nope. I find some old raid cards though, frankly, but that's just me. It's Bravo. been it's been power crept. Yeah, and I think back when White didn't have any other options, that was it. And but, red. Uh, yep. Yeah. Another blast zone, full art. Great card. Ratchet bomb on a land. Fokker. Giant growth reprint. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize I was in this set. That's actually pretty cool. Thran Spike. Hercules Final Meditation. Ah, uh, this card really <laughs> does nothing for me. Yeah. It's like. Someone's like, oh, it's like like a ten rift. minute it's like, cyclonic no, it's, rift. It's not because it bounces your stuff too. And yeah. Yeah. This guy's neat. Sardian Avenger. So one in a red. He's an anti artifact card. Um, so he's a one one with first strike and trample. Whenever he attacks, he gets plus X plus zero until end of turn, where X is the number of artifacts your opponents control. Whenever an artifact an opponent controls is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, 
Sardian Avenger deals one damage to that player. So if your opponents are sitting there with a pile of treasure out there, a pile of artifacts, you can absolutely make them eat it. Another Foundry Inspector, another Ornithopter, another Goblin Charbelcher. This different is a art. schematic one. This is, yeah, very different. Most of the schematics are similar. This one's the most different of the bunch. Uh, Megatron Tyrant. I think this is the highest value Transformers card currently. Grixis. Yeah. Or no, Mardu. Mardu, sorry, yeah. Mardu Robots. So your opponents can't cast spells during combat. At the beginning of your post combat main phase, you may convert Megatron. If you do, add colorless for each one life. Your opponents may have lost this turn, which seems super good. You can play him as his uh, tank for one in Mardu. Appreciate the. Gilded Lotus in behind, that's no big deal. Yeah, that's, that's no big deal, just a uh, <laughs> stunning Gilded Lotus. Second last pack. Yes, this and two more. Oh, oh. There we go. Never been so happy to see a token. Boys, oh boys, that's nice looking. Yeah, there's Laserbeak. Go over there in the Transformers pile. Oh, that one's Beautiful cool. Beautiful next one. I don't know if we've got this one or not. I don't think we have. Ooh, Brushland. I didn't know these were back. They're finishing the cycle for the for standard. Right. Um, but it's been a long time since that's... we had. <laughs> that's yeah. gorgeous. Yep. Yeah. That's hilarious. Blast Furnace Hellkite. It's like the Arena Shuffle Bug. Getting two lands of the same same land and over again. It's hilarious. So artifact offering, you can ex or sacrifice an artifact to pay for the casting cost. That's Ooh. right. It's like um, it's like that mechanic from Battle for Zendikar. Uh, the emerge. Emerge, yeah. yeah. Oh man, that's beautiful. There's some Swifties. Yeah, didn't know the that boots, was in this set. Boots with the fur. Jalum Tome. Another More annoying man, cards. People really want me to be annoying. Yeah. Yep. Blitzwing. We have not been seeing a whole lot of duplicates in some of these. Nope. Well, <laughs> except for <laughs> except for Chromatic Land, right? Yeah. Apparently that's uh, that's your card. This set. Yep. Well, anywhere I'm playing it, I know I'll be swapping it out. It's one I find I keep cutting from decks. Yeah, it's a three man artifact, which it's good in four and five color. Yeah, I have it in my Legends Matter deck, um, Joda, because because it matters. Yeah. yeah, I like this fella. I think this one's good. Yeah, this one's really pretty. It looks like it's raining. Reminds me of home. Oh, and there's the fixed skull clamp. Yep. But you know what? I can crick that. Yep. So uh, not mad. Not mad. That card's adorable. There's a worm. Wreck Hunter, two black for two to a flash. When there's a battlefield two star player, we create tap power stone token for each non land card in that player's graveyard. That was put, oh, put for the battlefield this turn. Eh, okay. I got excited there for a second. Self Assembler. Oh, that's from uh, Modern Horizons. Okay. I think. Oh, Springleaf Drum, this is great. Classic. Yep. Brilliant card from Theros that does not see enough play. Originally printed in Lorewind Block. Did not know that. Cloud Key. Optimus Prime Hero. Is that the first Optimus? Did I, get that? I don't think. Oh, really? I think that's the first Optimus. Wow, it sure is. So, so that... you got Optimus and Megatron. Yep, that's awesome. Oh. Hey! Jalum Tome misprint, miscut. Numbered. Numbered miscut. Oh boy. Man, this is bizarre. How do I feel about this? It's a numbered Jalum Tome, but it's also a miscut. That's hilarious and sad. <laughs> I wonder how many are miscut. That'll be, uh, that'll be something to look up later. The foiling on those looks exactly like the From the Vault foiling. Yeah. Like the from the vault relics. 
Yeah, like I said, that's uh, that's weird. Oh, I like that. this. What's what that? Construct? What is that construct? Foil artwork. Oh my that goodness. Is, that is really creepy as heck. All right. We got number cards. Uh, black is just oh yeah, it's rocking too good. it right now. There's no other way to say. It's it's what a pee. box though. We got numbered cards. We've got all the mythic transformers. Speaking of mythics, arcane. Oh, this is the. Uh, oh, this speaking good. of fixed cards, this is the fixed snapcaster mage. I like this one. I think he's gonna see some some use. I think so. Uh, fateful handoff. This card, I'm glad to get this too. This card's fantastic, and I think it's going to see a lot of play. It's in one of the commander decks. Machine God's Effigy, so it's a four mana artifact. You can have it enter the battlefield as, of, as a copy of any creature on the battlefield except as an artifact and as tap, add blue. So it's a clone effect on a mana rock. It's an artifact, makes an artifact. So yeah, it's. I think it's going to see some play. Talisman, pristine talisman. Not, I don't think I have one of these. Good so I'm complain about that. Another and liquid uh, the other building. liquid metal. Yeah. Cloud key. Slicer, hired muscle. This is alternate universe wheeljack. And a siege veteran. And the clothes. Yep, that is everything. So if you're looking to. Pick up some Brothers War cards if you're looking at collector boosters, set boosters, um, some cards for draft. If you're looking to pick up commander decks, uh, those will all be available here at Heroes Beacon starting this weekend. We also have pre release events coming up this Friday and Saturday. Our Jumpstart event is on Sunday. And then the following Friday will be our release day draft. We'll be drafting the set. So if you're interested in any of those limited formats, it's a great way to get into it, great way to practice packs, have some fun. Uh, all very casual events as well. So that has been a box of collector boosters from the Bros War. And uh, this is Greg again from Hero Speaking. And Kyle here has been helping me on camera. We thank you for your time and uh, we'll see you around. Thanks for joining us. Bye bye.